guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, my name is Rita Casabrano from the Electronics Engineering Department of the Del Sal University Das Minas. So I'm from ECE 41. And for today's experiment for the robotics laboratory, we will be having the experiment of number two, which is the control of stepper motor. So for our objectives, this experiment will enable the student to first control the direction of rotation of a stepper motor using each bridge circuit. Second is to control the speed of rotation of a stepper motor. Third is to control the angular displacement of the stepper. And fourth is to create a computer program user interface to send data control to Arduino. So, uh, Basically, our equipments and materials will be our personal computer or a laptop. Second is Arduino microcontroller. Next is conveyor system. Third is our motor driver, which is the ICL293D. Uh, next one will be our power supply, our breadboard, alligator clips, and connecting wires. So for our introduction, Arduino conveyor and a stepper motor were used for this experiment. The movement of the conveyor is controlled by the stepper motor through a program implemented in Visual Studio and Arduino. Visual Studio is a computer software that used to develop a program with an interface. Arduino is an open source platform used for building electronic projects. The communication between the Arduino and Visual Studio is done using the ASCII over serial slash USB. So the Arduino will control the stepper motor and the Visual Studio will provide the interface to execute commands. The interface is composed of enable and disable buttons and a track bar. The track bar will set a value of steps from zero which is the starting point, up to 2 of the 24,724, which is the number of steps to reach the endpoint. An, an enable button should be pressed each time the track bar value changed since the program is not set on real time and to avoid an error due to overlapping. A label box is also included for it to show the distance in the limiter the conveyor have moved. So for our procedures, uh, we'll be connecting our Arduino microcontroller using our USB serial cable. And we're gonna uh, create the schematic of our project as well as uh, its layout on our FreeSign. So I'll be showing you the video on the next slide. So in order to properly connect our circuit and FreeSign, we will be following the schematic shown in the picture below as well as the L293D pin configuration. So we will be needing a breadboard, a stepper motor, okay, a motor driver, which is the ICL293D, as well as our Arduino microcontroller, our Arduino Uno. So we just have to follow this schematic. We're in the pin number two of our IC is connected to the pin number 8 of our microcontroller. Next one, the pin number 7 of our IC is connected to the pin number 9 of the microcontroller. The pin number 10 of the IC is connected to the pin number 10 as well of our Arduino microcontroller. And the pin number 15 of the motor, of the motor driver or of our IC is connected to the pin number 11 of our microcontroller respectively. So, as you can see on the schematic, the VSS uh, pin of our motor driver, of our IC, is connected to the 5 volts power supply. So, since Arduino uh, supplies a 5, volt, a 5 voltage, so we can just connect it in the pin number 15 of the IC, okay, and in the pin number, pin number 8 of our microcontroller. So, we can also take note of the connection of our 5 volts voltage, which is supplied by the Arduino, 
to the pen of our IC. So, you have also to take note the connection of the stepper motor, which is uh, the four connections will be, uh, the stepper motor will be connected to the pin number three of our IC, which will serve as our output one. Pin number six uh, will be connect. Pin number six of the IC will be connected to the stepper motor as well, which will serve as our output two. Then, then pin number eleven of our IC will be connected to the stepper motor as well, which will serve as our output three. And lastly, the pin number fourteen of our IC will be connected to our stepper motor, which will serve as our output for for this experiment. So next one, we will be layouting our schematic based on what we've finished with our fixing. So all you have to do is just fix the wires wherein it will be properly connected and it will be organized. So that's our schematic. So make it organized and make it systematic to make sure that the circuit will be functioning well. So let's proceed with our circuit assembly. So for our first task, we have to create a program that will control the direction of the motor by sending the right sequence of pulse to the motor, sending the sequence of pulse to make the motor rotate clockwise, and sending the sequence of pulse in reverse order to make the motor rotate counterclockwise. We should also send a pulse that will cause the motor to stop. So with that, we will be proceeding with our code. So this will be our Arduino Uno code. So we will be considering uh, this command, char, uh, tier, and this command as well. Okay, and this will, uh, this includes our command, which is const int, okay, setting the value to 20. And this command as well will be used. So we will be printing this direction in the serial monitor, wherein we will be, Allowing the users to input either A, B, or C uh, that will indicate the rotation direction of the motor, wherein A will be for motor clockwise rotation, B will be for, mo for the reverse or the counterclockwise rotation, and C will make the motor stop. So, this is our uh, actual code to perform the task, which is uh, we will be considering this code serial dot read, and then uh, this code we've declared it here, which is the code for the direction of the motor. So the case A will be for the positive SPR, meaning the rotation will be clockwise. Okay. So next one will be the case B, which is negative SPR, which indicates that the direction will be counterclockwise. And the next one will be case C, okay, will be case C, which will perform the stop, the stop action for the motor. So that's our code. Now let's proceed with our circuit assembly. So now we're going to upload our code to our Arduino microcontroller. And after that, we're going to go to our serial monitor here. And we're going to be encoding uh, letter A. So as you can see, our motor is rotating clockwise when we encoded letter A on our serial monitor. So next, we'll be inputting letter B later on after a half rotation of the motor. So let's input letter C. The next we're going to be inputting letter B on the serial monitor. Okay. So as you can see, when we encoded letter B, the motor rotated counterclockwise in reverse with the letter A. So we're going to be inputting letter C to stop the motor. Okay, so that concludes our part one. 
Now for our second task, we have to create a program that will control the speed of the motor by controlling the pulse frequency of the microcontroller. So going back to our Duino Uno, to our IDE, we'll be considering this command. Uh, we'll be declaring our variables, which is speed, okay? And we'll also be setting the SPR to train put. So we have to consider the serial dot begin nine six zero zero code to initialize our serial monitor. Then here we'll be printing it in our serial monitor, saying enter desired speed of the motor. So this is our actual code we're in. Uh, we will be considering values, okay, values for controlling the speed of our motor. Wherein, when the user input numerical values to our serial monitor, the speed of the motor will vary. So here, we'll be considering speed is equal to serial dot parse n. So we're gonna have an if statement. If speed is if the input speed on the serial monitor is greater than zero, then uh, uh, it will perform this function. My stepper dot set speed. Okay, and this command as well. So the maximum value will be 2000 for the speed of the motor. So now we'll be proceeding with the circuit assembly and uh, the working of our actual circuit. So for the speed of the motor, we're going to start with 400. So as you can see, uh, the motor rotated with a minimum speed. Then we're going to consider... 700 for our next value of the speed of the motor so we're gonna input it okay so as you can see there's a significant but minimum difference with the speed of the motor when we type 700 so there's a delay because we need to complete uh, we need we need to complete our rotation first before it changes so yan 700 na siya. then we're going uh, we're going to consider 1,000 for our next value for the speed of the motor. So let's just wait for the motor to complete its complete rotation. Okay. So as you can see, we already have 1,000 as our new speed of the motor. Then the next value will be 1,700. Okay, let's just wait for it. Okay, as you can see... Um, the speed of the motor is at its fullest, almost at 2,000, when we considered the 1,700 as our speed of the motor. So that's our part 2. Let's proceed to our part 3. So for our part 3, so we have to create a program that will control the angular displacement of the motor by sending a number of steps in the microcontroller. So our code will be this one so we'll be declaring um our variable which is step and then we'll be setting spr to 20 then same with the previous code here so same with the initializing of our serial monitor and then we'll be setting the speed to uh to this one to 1000 and then we're gonna have this code okay serial is equal to serial that parsed in and then we're going to have an if statement here wherein if steps is greater than zero, meaning if the value encoded in the serial monitor is greater than zero, then uh, it will perform this function. My stepper that step is, uh, it will change the angular displacement of our motor based on the value you encoded on the serial monitor. Then, uh, uh, same with the previous code, it will be performing this one. So now let's proceed with our, with the working of our circuit assembly. So for our part 3, we will be entering our desired motor step value. So we're going to start with 50. So let's start with 50. So as you can see, there is a minimum change in the angle of the motor when we input the 50 value. Then let's have next the 100 value. Okay, so as you can see, there is a minimal change in the motor angle. Next is 300. Okay, so next is 500. 
Okay. Then next will be 700. Okay. Then next one will be 900. Okay. Up until 1,000 which is the maximum value for the motor step. Mm. Okay, so that's uh, the end of our experiment and that's our part 3 which is entering the desired value of our motor steps. So, thank you. So, overall, we're done with the actual operation of the actual circuits with built using our electronic components. So, this is a final paper of our experiment number 2 with our programs, with our Arduino programs for the task number 1. For the task number two and for the task number three. And this is our schematic uh, created using our Fritzing. And this is our working sketch created as well using our Fritzing software. This is our actual circuit assembly for the motor direction, actual circuit assembly for the speed of the motor, and lastly, the actual circuit assembly for our motor step. So, as a conclusion, this is the very uh, useful in terms of our robotics application, especially in robots, which requires movement of motor, okay, requires the control of the movement of the motor speed, of the motor direction, and of the motor angular displacement, which are commonly seen in the robots used in making automotives, cars, and medical equipment as well as in our electronic applications which are used for making electronic components as well. So again, my name is Rika Casabrena and I'm from Electronics Engineering of the DLSUD and I hope you learned a lot from our experiment today. Bye and see you on our next vlogs.